Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for the WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Ready for your Mayhem Minute of the Day, and today we're going to talk about some Global Force of Wrestling. They had a little bit of an announcement yesterday. Finally, they're starting to take shape. But first, please check out our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com, SorgatronMedia.com for other shows and services that we're doing around here, PittsburghWrestling.com, and of course, BoldPittsburgh.com. Supporters of the show, support them back! If you're digging all this stuff. So let's get into it. Um, they had a big kind of press conference announcement for Global Force Wrestling uh, happening. Uh, and there, of course, they got the big TV taping happening, I think, in July in Las Vegas, which is interesting because I don't think that they've announced what TV they're on. So what are they taping for? Um, of course, Global Force also involved with bringing uh, Wrestle, I'm sorry, yeah, Wrestle Kingdom, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling's basically WrestleMania event to pay-per-view here in the States. So the big announcement happened, and uh, it's an interesting list. I mean, no, nothing really kind of earth-shattering. Like, there's not even an AJ Styles, there's not even anything like that, and um, and I'm kind of curious about where this is going to go. And of course, Global Force Wrestling also announced a base brawl kind of event. They're hitting a lot of uh, minor league parks across the country. Uh, so some of the names that have popped up here, uh, Chris Adonis Mordeski, yes, the guy that used to be Chris Masters, okay. Davey Boy Smith Jr., who's been making waves, uh, tag teaming actually with Lance Hoyt, actually just showing up on Ring of Honor's event this past weekend, uh, but they've been tearing it up in... And, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling and other places around the world. Uh, Machine Gun Carl Anderson, uh, the PJ Black, who's the former Justin Gabriel, who just recently left WWE in the last few months. Uh, Laid Tapa and, uh, and and Tia Trinidad. Also, apparently, Moose from Ring of Honor is is included in this and and here between the ropes.com they were uh, saying how uh, this is kind of puzzling because he's under contract with ring of honor and his inclusion and his jump if he's jumping for global force um that's kind of questionable uh their tv tapings are going to be july 24th august 21st and october 23rd in las vegas um and I, I don't know, guys. It just seems like another thing that's going to be on the level of Ring of Honor. Uh, you know, even looking at that and, and, and to see that these guys are involved and see, see some of these names cross over here from Ring of Honor. Uh, Doc Gallows is part of this, too, as well, uh, the former Festus of uh, WWE. But um, it, it seems like it's just going to be another Ring of Honor. I, I don't see them making that many waves. I don't see them having a crowd of more than a few hundred people, just like Ring of Honor. You know, I don't know what they're going to get for distribution. They say they're going to... Um <laughs> they're actually saying they're afraid that they're going to be giving away tickets just to fill the 9,500 seat arena. I don't think even TNA can't even fill a 9,500 seat arena for pay-per-views at this point. You know... There's there there's there's a there's a reason that Lucha Underground happens in a soundstage in front of just a few hundred people. You know they can make it look right because they set the set piece right. They're not trying to make it work around an environment they don't have control over, which would be an arena. So, and this isn't anything ground shattering that I I think they're going to get a lot of people out there. You know we're not seeing much that makes you think that this is anything more than a fly-by-night kind of operation. I know it isn't because it's Jeff Jarrett involved in there, but there's just there's just a piece missing, you know. There's you know, we talked about this week on on Wrestling Mayhem show 468. What is it that what would somebody need to do to take over uh, WWE uh, as as the head person? It's like nobody knows how to market themselves. Everybody's a good wrestling company and they have modest you know, promotion, but you know, they can't, they can't get themselves out there. They don't know how to, like, there's a piece missing to get me excited about this. There are stars in there that are going to make me excited about this. Cause I watched wrestle kingdom and I loved it. You know, the Japanese stars, you know, the, the indie darlings, you know, but there's just nothing else. And do you bring in a big name? Do you bring in, you know, if he was free, Kurt Angle, somebody else that used to be on there, Mick Foley, something like that. You know, how much does that work? You know, how did that work for TNA when Hulk Hogan was down there? Did that really do anything except suck down their, their money flow in TNA? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but this you're not showing me that this is a company that's going to make an impact other than to be another show that D&D kids are going to watch. That's my thoughts. What do you think about the Global Force Wrestling 
um, uh, reveal. Uh, our boy DJ Lunchbox and Pop LB, he says they needed to get a big get for this announcement, and Shao Sonnen was not it. I don't even know who that is. So, uh, case in point, right? Let me know your thoughts. Oh, uh, also, Zach Rizza. The Riz, cool roster, not so cool analyst. Yeah, they got an MMA guy um, that's going to be a part of it. And I'm wondering if he's the guy that was behind the New Japan Pro Wrestling um, um, ASX uh, kind of, re- not a recap, but a throwback show. And uh, I hear he's not very good if that's the same fellow. So, and it, it would make sense since there was involvement between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Global Force Wrestling um, already. So, we'll see what's happening with this. Uh, we'll keep tabs on it as it grows. And you know we'll be talking about it all over the Wrestling Mayhem Show Network. Please subscribe to this and other shows at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. I'm at Sorgatron. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.